Hey everyone, so the next thing that we're going to be replacing is some spark plugs, right Z? Alright, so you're going to need part number 12124552582258 and this is going to be spark plugs on a G30 5 series. To open the hood on a G30 you have to pull the handle twice and then you can simply lift up. And here's our engine vanity cover. Let's just do a quick look around here. So we got our coolant reservoir. This reservoir is coolant also, but it's actually for the AC system because we use a different style condenser. It is a water-cooled condenser for the AC system. So if you actually run low on coolant in this reservoir, your AC will actually stop working. On the passenger side here, this is your jump terminal if you have to jump the vehicle. Here's the positive side. And if you come back towards the front of the vehicle where the air filter is, this is the jump terminal that you would use for the ground side. And then washer fluid's tucked up in here, up by the, the hood on the passenger side. There is a auxiliary battery installed on this car right here. All right, everyone, let's get into this. Let's get some spark plugs replaced. So to take this cover off, you just have to gently pull up on all the corners it will release and often you find rodent debris underneath this one's nice and clean awesome actually look right there so there are signs of a little bit of rodent chewage thankfully they did not eat any of the harnesses I've actually seen quite often the ignition harness and even the other secondary sensor system harness is chewed and these full wiring harnesses often have to be replaced so Thankfully, no damage has been done by the mice. So on this vehicle, we have our coil packs right here, and they're relatively accessible, which is nice. We're just gonna pull back gently on the connector with a pick or a small screwdriver and release the plug. We have to take this e-torx off here, and we're gonna carefully lift up to remove these coils. Sometimes the boots can tear, so be careful when you take these out. So I'm going to gently Pry upwards on that until I hear it click and then press downward. So once you pry that up, you have to press down and with a little bit of pressure on the bottom, you can get them to clip, to unclip from the little white tab. And we're just gonna put that aside. And I took this back one off. I was unclipping number two and I did find some exposed wire and this is the red with a blue tracer so this is a power wire so I'm going to wrap that up for uh, my friend who owns this G30 because looks like the rodents got him right there and uh, that should be fine as long as I wrap that up. Now to access the back coil this actually pops up this little cover you just lift it up like this has a little flap and you can get to the back coil for a cylinder six. You're going to need an E7 which is an external Torx to remove the bolts for the coils. They are captured, so you don't have to worry about losing them. And then just take the coil and pull it straight up, gently. Of course, this one does not want to come out. There we go, pop. Yep, they come out very hard. It's like a silicone boot. And you can see the screw is actually captured so you can't lose it. Now at the number four coil pack, you have the two plugs that go to the O2 sensors. So I've taken the whole holders off to do this. And let me flip it over so you can see. There's a tab right here on the bottom. And basically with this sitting downward, you're just taking a pick and pushing that over. You can see there's the tab that holds it. You just push that over and it will slide up and out. You can see this is how it goes back on. It slides downward. So I push the tab over and slide it out. And I did the same thing with the other one. And that gives me access to that coil pack.
Now when you're doing spark plugs, be smart and inspect each hole. Just make sure there's no debris. You can see there are some rodent debris bits all in here, but these are raised high enough that none of it can get into the spark plug hole. But it's just a good idea to make sure that there's nothing there when you're taking your spark plug out. If you drop something into the cylinder, you could cause major engine damage. You do need a multi-point socket. I'm using an AST SP1412. I'll put a link in the description box in case you need to pick one of these up. Break it free. And take my spark plug out. I never like to leave an open hole, so immediately after I take the spark plug out, I'm going to go ahead and hand tighten my spark plug so nothing can fall into the engine while I'm working on the other ones. All right, so I just want to use my tool here. And I can get you that tool number. This is a BMW tool. It basically is just a rubber hose that holds the spark plug in place. So I'm not going to make you watch me do all of the other ones because this is pretty straightforward. I'm going to go and take these out and we'll go ahead and do the tightening torque and the reinstall procedure. You know, while, while I'm working, I'm noticing more and more rodent damage. This is not good. I found some more rodent damage up at a intake manifold pressure sensor. So the torque spec of this is 23 newton meters plus or minus 3. I like to do these to 25 just as a good rule of thumb number. 25. 25.4. Perfect. We'll do one more and then I'll go ahead and continue and then we will go ahead and put the coils in and we will torque the coils down to the correct specification as well. And drop my coils in. Obviously be careful for the high pressure pump connector. And once you're close, you do want to line them up to where it's going to sit. good push downward, right? So we want to go this way with the connector towards the cabin. And just make sure that each one is fully seated. You do not want to get fuel on these. Obviously we don't have anything fuel related open, so that's good because fuel will make these swell and fail and you'll end up with a misfire and having to replace the coil. So on these coil packs with these screws, you always want to start them by hand. Don't just try to zip them on. You don't want to cross thread anything. So we're going to go ahead and tighten that by hand, and then we're going to torque it to 8 newton meters, not 10, 8 newton meters. Unlike everything on the N20 engine. So not really much, it's a tiny bit. 8 newton meters, right there. Okay, then you take your connector, slide it on. You should hear an audible click, and then press your lock down. Here's that rodent chew wire. I just protected it with some electrical tape. Put your connector on and lock it down. And then I found this. So this sensor right here has really chewed wires right here. So I'm gonna just try to clean that up and wrap it as well. It's not sitting a fault, and if I can protect it now, you might be able to not have to replace the sensor system harness. Go ahead and reinstall the two oxygen sensor wires, and they just slide and lock into place, like so. That's my little cover. I can tuck that back under, Put it back there, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap that other wire. And the last piece is to put the vanity cover back on, and it just rests into place, falls on, give it a tap of root, 
That's it everyone, so not that big of a deal to replace spark plugs on a G35 series. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my Ask the Car Experts YouTube channel. Let me know if you need any help. You can help Zion and I out by supporting us on my spot fund. And I'll put the link in the description. If